It was his character, not his skin color. That's what the acting secretary of the Navy had to say today about Doris Miller. Miller courageously fought back against incoming Japanese warplanes during the attack on Pearl Harbor. And today, all these years later, it became official. Miller will become the first African-American to have an aircraft carrier named in his honor. Military reporter Mike Gooding has details. Dory Miller stood for everything that is good about our nation. His story deserves to be remembered and repeated wherever our people continue to stand the watch today. 22-year-old Doris Miller was ship's cook on the battleship West Virginia when the U.S. fleet came under attack from the Imperial Japanese Navy on December 7, 1941. He picked up a machine gun and fought back. Miller became the first African-American to earn the U.S. military's second highest decoration, the Navy Cross for Valor, receiving it from the Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Fleet, Admiral Chester Nimitz. And now, nearly eight decades later, CVN-81, to be constructed at Newport News Shipbuilding, will become the first aircraft carrier ever named for an African-American, the USS Doris Miller. Usually carriers are named for presidents or prominent politicians, but this one will be named in honor of an enlisted sailor, a black man. Doris Miller was the son of a sharecropper, a descendant of slaves. He was not given the same opportunities that men of a different color were given to serve his country. But on December 7, 1941, just behind me, he would not be defined by the prejudice of other peoples. Virginia's first African-American member of Congress since Reconstruction, 3rd District Representative Bobby Scott tweeted today about Miller. He wrote, I want to commend the Navy for honoring the life of Doris Miller. Proud that the Doris Miller will be built by the shipbuilders in Newport News. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.